Uh, boat's coming down. Crunch. 40 miles. Got through a little bit of clouds here. So just not the fizz is. Okay. So we may take contact with them. It's hard to tell what's ahead of us. He's inside of free contact now. Okay. 
It's inside of a hunter. Okay. Marine Corps Air Station Iwakuni recently received a KC-130 simulator and now boasts the newest and largest training complex in the Marine Corps to keep up with operational readiness. We have been working to get this building operational. Uh, Marine Corps Air Station Iwakuni just took over ownership of this brand new building and this is the first trainer to go into it and in beginning uh, the future stages of training all the type model series aboard MCS Iwakuni uh, other than actually flying on the air station. MCAS Iwakuni contracted a Russian AN-124 Antonov jet to fly the simulator to the air station as quickly as possible. I think it's important because uh, you have an opportunity to organize the training base, uh, I mean simulator for the aircraft, for the pilots, uh, for the technician crewmate. I think it's important because if you use a uh, ship, uh, it takes a uh, lot of time, much more days uh, to care. Maybe it's important, maybe it's urgent. The simulator will play a vital part in the flight training program on the air station. For this simulator, what we're looking at here is the KC-130J WST, or Weapon Systems Trainer. And it is the uh, main uh, tr uh, simulator for the uh, VMGR-152, the Sumos, who were originally at Okinawa but have now moved to Iwakuni. And this simulator is different than other simulators in the fact that it's larger first, and then also it is a full motion. So if you think of a Universal Studios ride, uh, it can move around along with providing full uh, digital displays and replication of flight simulation. Reporting from Marine Corps Air Station Iwakuni, Japan, I'm Lance Corporal Calvin Hilt.